Hello friends, welcome to Inside Text. This is a platform to learn about power transmission elements and its control system. Uh, so, continuing in the oil testing series for the transformer. In the previous video, we have seen the routine test of the transformer. And today, we are going to continue about the oil testing of transformer. In that particularly, we will see the routine tests that are remaining. We have many videos made on types of oil testing sample collection and for routine testing part one also and other testing on the transformer. You can visit the various videos from the links in the description box. Friends, as we already know, transformer is basically classified based on its cooling media as a dry tap transformer and as an oil fill transformer. Transformer being the most crucial part and the costliest part of the uh, of the substation uh, to check the healthiness of the transformer is very important. So oil cool transformer is basically mineral type and ester oil type. So we are going to discuss about routine testing of mineral oil type in today's video. Why oil testing is needed? The first is to check the healthiness of the transformer. Second, based on the results that we obtain, we have to take actions for the extension of life of the transformer. And also, if any diagnosis is required, for if there is fault has occurred, then any kind of diagnosis will be required. So we can do that based on the results of the oil testing. So mineral oil, basically uh, two types of testing are done, routine oil testing and DGA, that is dissolved gas analysis. So routine test is done based on the standard IS 1866-2017. So uh, we will see routine oil testing. We have already covered four routine tests. First is breakdown voltage test, then water content, neutralization value or acidity, and sediment or sludge. Okay, so now in today's video, we will see dielectric dissipation factor that is 10 delta, specific resistance resistivity at 90 degree, interfacial tension and flush point. The first is dielectric dissipation factor or 10 delta. So this is the kit in which we will measure this 10 delta. And if we take a close look like this, this is the space where we fill the oil sample. And using this kind of kits, we can measure this the dissipation factor. Specific resistance. Again, this is the kit and this is where we will place the oil sample and we will measure the resistivity. It is measured in ohm meter or also in ohm centimeters. Interfacial tension. So this is the kit. Here is the sample and we will see how this interfacial tension is measured. So this is how the sampling is done for interfacial tension. Next is the flesh point. It is also called as Penske Martis Close Cup method. So, this is the test device in which sample. So, this is the cup, and in this, we will take the sample oil as you can see over here, and we will place the cup back into the equipment. And uh, entering all the parameters, we will now close this.
all the input that is required about the oil sample that is already provided into this okay and now we will start the test you will see a flash point that will occur over here you can see the flash point that has occurred and over here the result you can see on the screen okay so that is the flash point test now these are the sample results that are taken from the transformer and tested in some laboratory so you can see we discussed the first four in the last uh, video already that is bdv that was that was 77 it has to be more than 40 so that is confirms next is ppm that is maximum allowed is 40 but we are having 11 so that is okay utilization should be maximum should be 0 0.3 that and what we obtain was 0.0008 so again it confirms sludge was not detected that is okay dielectric dissipation factor or 10 delta max it should be 1 but we are getting 0 0.00085 specific resistivity minimum should be 0.1 into 10 is to 12 we are having 110 and 10 to 10 is to 12 that is also okay interfacial tension we should minimum have 15 but we are having 47 so that's okay flash point is minimum 125 but we are having 150 so that also confirms so this all indicates that the oil sample taken from the transformer is okay is verified is tested and other results are normal so the transformer is healthy so in next video, we are planning to show you the test on DGA that is dissolved gas analysis. So you can also tell us what topic do you want to see in our next videos. Keep watching our videos. Thank you.